Yo, it's Coilover. The rules. I can drive vehicles here and there. We're not going to abuse them. That would be silly. And I can use grenades in boss fights. But you'll find that I don't. Do you know why? Because I like the challenge. Let's begin. Warship Gebracken, however you say it. That's the first mission. This is going to set the pace for the strategy we're going to be implementing. Because we're going to need some unique strategy and gameplay to pull this off. And best believe I can come up with the strategy needed. Now the first challenge I was expecting was the brute room and I just had a feeling I should go fast. Bang, 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 get straight up in there, straight in the face of the enemy without fear. And it worked. It worked flawlessly, in fact. I didn't even edit out a death. It just worked flawlessly. But I understood I couldn't get reckless yet. You know, we are on legendary. I gotta be careful, but we still gotta be swift. You know, the thruster gives me the invisibility when I use it, but it ain't perfect. These enemies are hyper aware. Did you see that little slip? Beautiful. That was some boxing technique right there. The guy threw the right straight. I slipped and I pivoted and then... Boom! With a hammer. Hammer down. Get wrecked. Mission 2. Foundation. Pretty nice, easy, beautiful looking mission, right? We run through the tunnels and I figured out a little cheesy bit, okay? After these failures, I decided, you know what? Let me skirt through here. Bing, bing, bing. Use my thruster and it was very cheesy and... I didn't know it would actually work, and it worked. So there's that. I then accidentally discovered something magic. I don't know if anyone ever did that before. I accidentally did it. It was a complete accident. I was being impulsive, and I thought, you know what? Can I jump off here? Can I do it? And I did, and it launched me into the sky. It wasn't planned, but I think it went pretty well. It was pretty cool. And if I did invent that, you know, you can just put my name on it. It's calm. It's fine. Coming up, we have our first boss fight. Tremonious. These... Oh, what I was dreading the most. Now we got Outpost Tremonius, a pretty simple mission with few hurdles to overcome. I did develop a small strategy though. It was like a bomb knocking. I hit them and then I run away and then I come back, hit them again and I run away and I kept rinse and repeat until I finally meant decide to go hammer blazing and just get everything all at once. Big cleanup job, easily done. Now we have the tower, hundreds of enemies, big open world. It will be interesting to see how I can utilize this hammer.
I handled the outside pretty well, if you ask me. Pretty flawless. Now we're on the inside, and this is only a build-up to the real fight, let's be honest. Quite clearly, he is a step up from Tremonius. This guy has taken about six hammers, and he's still running at me. How has he even got the confidence to come at me? Much more challenging, but he didn't do much damage to me. Now we got excavation site, and I'm going to use this mission to just waffle, you know what I mean? I'm going to waffle a little bit, because this mission is kind of filler, you know? It's kind of fun, but it's just filler. Let's be honest, okay? Let's be honest. Although, there is a little challenge at the end, you know, with a little boss fight, with a guy that apparently wants to 1v1 me, but I don't think he understands what he's in for. I have been waiting. Conservatory is the next mission up and this mission is just beautiful, you know. Look at these scenes, it's so nice. I I can't lie, Halo Infinite's campaign and I specify the campaign is beautiful. I'm not talking about the multiplayer, yeah, they ruined the aesthetic, they added a bunch of armors that look ridiculous, they don't suit the aesthetic they put forwards in the campaign. If you disagree, that's your prerogative, but trust me, if they kept this aesthetic, it'd be so beautiful. Mm -mm -mm -mm. For this mission, I was expecting to be very challenging, and I was actually expecting the end to be the easiest bit, but was I wrong? The end was the biggest challenge of this mission and you will see why you will see why it was such a struggle and let me rejog your memory quickly the end of this mission is a one versus two situation with chief versus two brutes who should have been easy but you know what they say never underestimate your opponents Now we got the Spire, the first encounter with hunters in this game, and the strategy was pretty simple. Get close enough to hit them, but not close enough to get hit, you know what I mean? Keep it simple and that. Now the boss fight. He had a very predictable pattern, but I kept getting impatient and running at him instead of just chilling out, slowing it down, and destroying him. Now we have Pelican down. Now I left this particular section in for a very important reason. All of you guys watching should recognize the environment right now as it was straight from the trailer for Halo Infinite. Now the objective for this mission is simple. There's towers, we gotta kill the enemies and then shut down the towers. But there was some more hunters in our way that we had to deal with and I have the perfect strategy for beating hunters way easier than I thought it was gonna be. There was one detail I left out when describing this mission. The boss fights lining up to be potentially the most difficult thing in this campaign. Okay, look, in my defense, I didn't know it would be that easy. I thought they were going to be a challenge to me, but we are improving. We are getting swifter, more efficient, more effective, and just impressive, man. It's impressive. Now we have the sequence. Very interesting mission. Extremely open world, but it's very similar to the last one. We go tower to tower, but we must take out the enemies before entering said towers.
Now, as easy as I made this look, this was so much harder. This was actually extremely difficult. It took me many tries, many upon many tries. There are so many enemies all at once shooting you, and you just have to be swift and kind of lucky. A little bit lucky, I won't lie. We have another set of hunters coming up and honestly my first ever encounters with hunters on this game was traumatic. But when wielding the hammer is beautiful. Now we have Nexus or the Nexus. I can't remember the exact terminology, you know. Sue me, mate. <laughs> Sue me. Anyways, this mission is amazing. You know why it's amazing? Because it is endless duels with the hammers in close quarters fashion. And we even get a couple one versus ones with another melee wielding enemies. Well, I say 1v1s is more like 2 to 3v1, but I guess that makes it fair. This mission also introduced our first encounters with the Sentinels, which I assumed were going to be an issue in this campaign considering they can fly and I can't shoot. Now we have mission 11, the Command Spire. Ooh. Now this mission was exciting because I knew from my memory this would be a challenge. Now obviously we had more sentinels to deal with, but strategy was developed to deal with said sentinels. So they are not an issue for me. But there is a return of a boss who wants a one versus one rematch with me. Except this time it's not 1v1. Now, as you can see, his weaponry was upgraded, but not his patterns. He had the same exact patterns as last time, so he was dealt with. Now, if anyone remembers playing Halo Infinite's campaign, you'll remember this section has phantoms. And if anyone's like me, you'll know you can't grapple hook onto phantoms. No matter how hard you try, they just bounce off your grapple. So this presented a unique challenge that I wasn't going to give up on. Now we have the repository. This was one of the most action-packed missions in the game. I love it. It's amazing. And we had the sentinels to deal with. I had to get a little creative with the grapple hook, but it wasn't too difficult. It was actually quite fun. I was like a little birdie going through the sky. And it was amazing. Now, this mission also had loads of miniature boss fights, and I swear to you, the miniature boss fights are way more difficult than the supposed real boss fights. Now that was like the mini mini boss fight. Next, we have what I like to call the real ones because it's big massive brutes with turrets and they absolutely destroy you. Thank you. 
as strong as they are, they are no match for a man with patience and strategy. You know, I keep using strategy because that is what is needed to do these sort of challenges. Now we are on the road. Now you're probably gonna be thinking, isn't this a tank mission? What sort of strategy will you use? Well, I'm gonna take the tank, mate, okay? The tank is very fun and I couldn't miss up on not using it. So I'm sorry, guys, you might have to sue me, but the tank needed to be used because it is fun to use. Now we have the house of re 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 reckoning. Yeah, man. Basically, we fight through herds and herds of enemies. And it's our introduction to the banished hunters as well. We get to fight them for the first time and they always come in twos. And as you know, I am on my own. So it will be an interesting fight. One that I must win. Now I have conquered the House of Reckoning. I must now, one versus one, Jaeger. The elite that has been hunting me this entire time has failed. After a dominant performance against Jaeger, I now one vs one Eskarum. After defeating Eskarum, I couldn't believe it. I've made it so far. We are nearing the end and we have one final boss. We must meet the end of my hammer. Now the final mission is none other than the silent auditorium where I will be aiming for victory. One last boss fight against the Harbinger. She thinks she can beat me. No way. Now I have fought the Harbinger on Heroic with a mouse and keyboard. I have fought her on Legendary with a controller. I have fought her on Lasso with a mouse and keyboard. And I must say she was the hardest boss fight I have ever done in Halo. And I was not sure if it would be possible for me to beat her with a hammer on Legendary.
And it is done. I beat Halo Infinite on Legendary using only a gravity hammer. Who said it couldn't be done? I don't think anyone did. I just don't think anyone tried it because no one's like me. Silly enough to do silly things like this in Halo. But we did it. I genuinely weren't sure if I would be able to do it because the boss fight. The boss fights were what put me off the most. And turns out maybe this needs to be done on Lasso. Who wants to do it? Because I don't.